Hey, I'm Michael. And I'm Sheila, and welcome to The Buzz, your source for the latest tech news and for news all around the metro area. In campus news, the explosion of e-commerce hit the post office hard as they were swamped with incoming student packages. The office is in the process of serving students to try to improve the efficiency of the postal system. In local news, Mayor Bill Campbell recently announced a new program that will set up community technology centers equipped with computers and internet connections. The money will come from the public, educational, and government access funding from the existing franchise agreement with Media One. The center should be ready by this fall. For news around the nation, the Supreme Court made decisions this past week affecting equal pay for women. These decisions... professors are state employees, the Federal Equal Pay Act could not be applied because of the state's 11th Amendment immunity. This case shows the recent move of the court to protect state governments from being sued to carry out laws by the Congress. We're going to take a break, but we'll be right back with the latest happenings in student government. Right now, check out what's happening this week on Fat Videos. This week on Fat Videos, we'll be learning all about GTCN's newest music video show, Flavor 101. Check this out. You know what I'm saying? Flavor is like Matt kicking his, his dope shades. You know what I'm saying? That's Matt's flavor. We're trying to hit y'all off to what's going on. Anything new coming out? We're trying to hit y'all off to it. What we plan to do is school the campus and every, every viewer out there on Flavor. Yeah, we're hitting you off with the, with the uh, Flavor updates every week. I, I feel like Rock Cam is the best MC, you know, Ever. The DJ is the one who starts everything. The DJ is the one who makes the crowd move. You need to hit the dough, cause when I do my thing, you know I comes correct. And if you step into the OSA, you get your neck checked. Yo, yo, please believe it. Three and seven, definitely when you see it. Flavor one on one and fat videos, we keep it riding. Out fat videos every Monday and Thursday at 7.30 and Monday at 3.30 on channel 21. Welcome back to The Buzz. For politics, we now go to Nate Watson with an update on SDA. Hello, I'm Nate Watson and I'm here with this week's SGA update. Tonight's meeting saw a great deal of work accomplished, including several landmark bills. The first bill considered was brought by the African American Student Union, a request for funding for Black History Month. The request was met with $21,700 and we can expect an excellent Black History Month this year. We requested money for our step show and for our Black History Month oratorical contest, um, our Black History Month kickoff event, which includes a speaker from the 100 Black Men, um, performance artist, and a dance team, which puts on African um, dances. We have also have a play for that month, two guest speakers, Mayor Bill Campbell and C.T. Vivian for one day. Next on the agenda was the Future Rec Club, an environmental organization. Given as a fundraiser, it's, there's a little Although it is just, it is a chance. Fortunately, they did a half-act. They all did it. ...of the magnitude of Dave Matthews' band or Red Hot Chili Peppers. This bill is truly exciting and could bring us a great concert. After those bills were considered, they moved on... $100, $150,000, my question is... If the band, I guess, say just one of the bands we happen to get is $55,000 for the concert. A report for this week. Back to you, Michael. Be sure to tune in Tuesday nights at 7.30 p.m. for live broadcasts of SGA meetings on GTCN Channel 22. 
With the presidential election just around the corner, it's important to know how to vote and exactly what you are voting for. For those of you first-time voters, the ballot process can be a bit confusing. For those of you first-time voters, the ballot process can be a bit confusing. Volunteers will be on hand at each polling ballot. Polls open at 7 a.m. and close at 7 p.m. If you are unaware of your poll site, contact your county's voter registrar's office. If you have not yet filled out an application to vote, visit the SGA office in the Student Services Building. For finance, holiday spending, and the start of a new semester, finds many you owe and the monthly payments for each debt. Paying off small debts first is probably the easiest. Next, you should decide to these three basic steps to be debt-free. First, make a list of what you owe and the monthly payments for each debt. Paying off small debts first is probably the easiest. Next, you should decide what amount you will pay each creditor each month. Make a monthly payment schedule and stick to it. Slowly, the pile of bills will get smaller and you can start saving instead of spending. We'll be back with your five-day forecast after this quick preview of this week's special Flavor 101 premiere. I know we had to do a remix, right? Sitting outside or under the couch at Flavor 101 and GTCN's first freestyle contest. We're going to bring you exclusive footage of the show if you didn't get a chance to come out and check it out. What's up, Sada? We doing it for that down south, that Decatur, PCAD, and the crime clip, double C, folks. I'm going to give them a, a subject first so they can't be cheating. All right, the first subject is rap about your favorite sport. What, 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 what? Last Saturday, we might have pulled off. We came up quick and we took out some Georgia Bulldogs. But now what's up? Yo, prepare rap. Yo, who the fuck needs that? I think a preach out some walls since he balls. We'll catch a heart attack. I'm just Welcome back to The Buzz. Now we go to meteorologist Jessica Higgs for your area forecast. Thank you, Jessica. For sports, we turn to our sports god, Grant Wheelis, in the control room. Hi, I'm Grant. I am the resident sports god, and this is the Sports Roundup. In football, wide receiver extraordinaire Des White announced the Here's Hamilton again from the shotgun. Good protection. Downfield. White is there, and he's got it! First down, Des White at the Virginia 20 and a half yard line. That's the football player, not the R&B group. The women's basketball team beat Maryland 73-67. Junior Regina Tate had 15 points, and junior Jamie Krupa added 14 points and grabbed 12 rebounds. This brings the Lady Jackets record to 11-4 overall with a 4-4 ACC record. The next game is February 3rd versus Virginia. The men's basketball team was <laughs> had 21 points. This brings the men's team record to 9-8. And their next game is February 2nd versus Lafayette. 
The women's tennis team had opening round wins at the ACC Indoor Tennis Championships. Misty Morris, Charlotte Pernay, Sabrina Pardo, and Bobby Guthrie all won their opening round singles matches. The Georgia Tech baseball team began practice last week, bringing back two All-Americans and 17 lettermen from last season's team. They're ranked number nine in the preseason polls by Baseball America in their first game, February 16th, versus Georgia State. And finally in sports, junior Matt Kuchar captured the Savain College All-American Golf Classic title in the third hole of a sudden death shootout. That's all for sports. If you want to get all the latest information, go to www.ramblingrec.com. Now back to you, Michael. Thanks, Grant. In entertainment, the Robert Burns Center hosts Parsons Dance Company on February. Under the Couch, Tech's own nightclub and band hotspot features a weekly open mic night every Tuesday. Musicians Network meetings are held every Monday at 7 p.m. Everyone is welcome to attend. Ghosted Shows <laughs> or your favorite shows. Well, that's all for this week. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time with the buzz around campus.